Hi, and welcome to Circles. So this is the user interface. Up here to the left, we got the different node kinds. We got Pixel, um, which is graphic nodes. So you can bring in a image of the Earth or a circle or some noise. And you can combine these together to create different graphics. To delete these nodes, you can just command A and then command backslash. Um, there's different effects also. So there's content and effects inside of all these node types. So the effects are more, um, they need an input from a content. So if we have a blur, it wouldn't work unless we have something to blur. So we can have a circle, for example. Or we could choose another effect, um, like an edge, and connect it like this. Um, so these are the graphics nodes, the pixel nodes. Um, let's take a look at some float nodes. So we can animate these pixel nodes with the float nodes. So we can take a wave, for example, and then we can connect this to, to, to the circle. Now it doesn't hook up directly. We have to go into the circle and connect this node up here and we drag it down to the radius like that. Um, and then we can go and check um, some view nodes. So the view nodes is basically user interface nodes. You can have a slider or a toggle and they combine them with effects like uh, HSAC. And then maybe we want to have some padding. It's always good to do some padding. And then we can double click them and then we can interact with them. So this is perfect to create user interfaces to control your graphics or your scripts or something. If you want to access one of uh, these elements, uh, you can use the float property node. So the property node basically takes a node, any kind of node, and then you can choose a property. And then you can see if the node is on or off. So you can animate your graphics with this in this way. You can also script uh, with JavaScript. So in the data nodes, you can pop in a JavaScript. And if we open this in the side, we can edit the toggle by coding a script. So just do app dot node, and then the no the name of the node, and then dot property. The name of the property, which in this case is the toggle, is on. So we do is on dot toggle. And we can toggle. You can also access the documentation up here. And then under data, we have JavaScript. And there you can see all the scripts uh, you can make. There's a map node that you can use. So you can take uh, these nodes, for example, and cut them. Drop a map, go inside of it, and paste your nodes. And then you can drag an output. Um, this way you can have enclosed nodes. I'm going to delete this JavaScript node. And then a handy node to use is the nil node, which doesn't do anything, but it's like a connection. So you can hook up anything to it. So that's the map node. Um, now there's a couple of other user interface elements. We got the window here to create another window. So you can, uh, this is Mac only, but um, you can uh, have it in a separate window if you have two displays. Then we got the settings. So we got a couple different settings. We got show navigation, which adds two navigation items up here. Uh, which we can use uh, to step through the history of the navigation of the app. Then we have show FPS, which shows the current uh, frames per second. 
We have the memory monitor to show how much memory the app is using. No data flow visualization is for visualizing the flow between different nodes. So if we have a wave and then we add a nil, we can see that the, the wave is constantly creating data. But if we pause the app up here, we can see that everything is paused. Then there's some other uh, user interface elements, like up here we have, we can split the view into two. So we can see the same content, but in different views. But we can, for example, if we, if we had a map node here, we can go inside of it on one side and be outside of it on the other. So then we can create maybe a polygon and put it inside here. And then we see the we can connect different nodes and we can see that we get the connection here directly. Now we would need a blur to use this like this. And you can see that the connection stays connected all the time. Now you can split these how much you want. I don't know if there's a limit, but uh, I wouldn't go too far. You can also double click to full, make a full screen. Um, and if you want to go all the way full screen, you can just tap here and that will go to the f main full screen. And then if you want access up here, if you just hover, you can get back the menu items like that. So then you can choose to have one in full screen. And then um, there's uh, some different nodes. We can go through some nodes. Um, so if we want to have the gradient, for example, the gradient has uh, some effects like scale. And then you can combine the scale with extend mode to be loop or maybe mirror to create different uh, wavy effects. Now you can combine this with maybe a lookup node. So maybe we have a circle and we blur the circle. And then we connect the circle to the blur. Um, and then we use the lookup. So the lookup is a pro node. So for this, you're going to need a subscription. A subscription can be found up here. And then we can connect the gradient to the lookup, and we it basically goes through the blur and it takes the darkest pixel and uses the bottom pixel, and then goes through based on brightness and takes color from the gradient. So if we change the color in the gradient uh, to something like uh, yeah cyan, then we see that the the lookup takes that color. Anyway, this is just a quick uh, quick demo of the UI, so I'm not going to go too deep into the nodes. Thank you.